Hello again. Today we've got another tutorial. This one's logic based and it's how to make a toggle switch. This switch was invented by Mick from Mick Does Gaming. Always in my chat, always helping me out. He sent me a video and some um, screenshots. I've taken what he's done. I've cleaned up a bit. I've taken a few things out that weren't actually doing anything. And this is what this is the result. So what I wanted was a, a circuit that stayed on that you could toggle on and off. So there you go. Turned it on. Turned it off. You can do it a war switch, but I really wanted it to be logic based, so I could sw use an auto switch to turn the toggle on and off. You can't do that with a war switch. So this is how it works. And it is important that you use the toggle switch to demonstrate the toggle switch. Even though it's not a toggle, it does. It sends out a pulse. It should be called a pulse switch, really. So we turn it on, it sends out a little pulse, which is what you need for this switch. So it's off, it's off. So we've got the power coming from the battery into the inverter. The inverter lets the power through because it's not activated yet. The power goes to the switch, it can't go past that way, but you can go this way to this switch. So when I switch it on, the power comes through, it goes through the inverter. It activates that switch, which lets the power go through and it turns off the inverter and it gets caught in this sort of feedback so this is the switch this is the circuit that's on the light turns on it gets stuck there it can't go any further but it gets trapped it's, it's sort of circling around in there and that's just a byproduct basically of where it's going it can't go any further until you turn that on when you turn that switch on again the power goes through there that activates that, the power comes through, back through here and turns that off momentarily. So that it's on, when you turn it back on, the power comes through, it turns that off, it turns off the whole system so that the light, you know, it turns off. So that's how that works, because of this pulse. Turn it on, it pulses it through, turn it off, it pulses back again. You can't do that with other switches as I'm going to prove here. So you put it in there. If you do it with a proximity switch, the light just turns on and off. On, off. So the only way you can do it, I'm going to turn this off because it's quite annoying to do this while that's blinking away. So now I need to p turn this one on. Switch that on. So now the light's on. If I turn back over here, it goes off. If I come closer, it sends a pulse down, down through that and turns it switches it on. So any switch can be plugged, put in here into this what I call a pulser. So it's an inverter. You connect it into the red output input. You also connect the modifier into the red. So when the power comes through, it, it comes through for a second, activates that switch, but then because the modifier activates itself, it turns off immediately. So you go up to it, it sends a pulse down here turns the light on if you go back again it sends another pulse turns it off goes back again sends another pulse turns it back on again I like to leave the lights off there you go sends another one right so I've taken that that basically there's a pulse of there I've replaced it with the switch so I can switch it on easier but this one when I let the power through it, it will obviously it comes through here that's where the power comes on. I can demonstrate I've got three tries so I, it comes through it lights up the circuit but this one turns off the power to the switch and now I can't actually turn the switch on it's just permanent switch you can't turn it off and it persists for a save as I found out when I tried to demonstrate this earlier so I'm gonna do this once so there's the power the power comes through here through the invert which isn't active yet there goes the power into the switch. So when I turn the switch on, the switch the power turns that on. It turns that power on, which turns this off. So I can't put the switch. The switch is now useless. It doesn't do anything. Unless I have another switch that plugs into that and I can to toggle it back off. So I'll do it again. Number three. Can't turn it off. This is permanently on. So now we come to the, that's the pulser. And this is a strobing, strobing circuit. 
so it's the same setup as the pulse you put the modifier into the red output input you put the uh, modifier into the red output inputs but if you power the green it just continuously turns on and off just like that and the opposite with the pulse if you t if you power the switch into the red t the top it will pulse once once so that does it once that does it continuously if you keep it powered but this one this is a sort of combination lock a sequencer but you can you can plug stuff in you can take this one switch and put it in a multiple different systems it's quite easy but anyway this one if I turn this one on sends a power through but the power goes through into the next switch this switch is powered by that switch so I can turn that switch on but if I want to go here and do this one it turns that switch off so I can't switch on one and um, two without one being on I can't switch on three without both being on so if you rig this up in a certain way you got yourself a, a sequencer or combination lock so I turn the first one on the really bad bad um, code to have but there you go one two three all the lights are on you can connect all these three to a door or whatever you want to open and there you go so that's it finally made this video I think the light stayed on this time I've had this light on <laughs> turn off on me midway through a video and you couldn't see anything but there you go I've gone with black I think for demonstration purposes the black um, concrete and just concrete in general is the best for a circuit because it's nice and flat there you go I'll just um, go over the circuits again so just, I'll just toggle a few on and off just so you can if you want to copy it just copy do you just lay down an inverter a switch an inverter a switch and then the two auto switches I've done it so many times now it becomes quite easy to have to but if you just look at the circuits there's the pulse modifier into the red the green into the switch and the other switch into the, the red it just toggles on and off and don't fall off anyway that's the end of the video finally after oh, god knows how long and like subscribe share and i'll see you next time hopefully that's the end thank you